The music streaming space is competitive, but Paris-based Deezer isn't backing out. It's just going in another direction. So a few months back, Deezer abandoned its initial public offering plan, and yesterday the company announced how it now plans to spend its latest fundraising round. So joining us now to explain is Joan Salzman, technology editor at The Wrap. Joan, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. Let's start with the IPO. Why did Deezer back out of that? Well, there's two reasons that Deezer backed out of their IPO. One has to do with the market, and one has to do with Deezer. Right now, it's just not a good time for pub companies to go public. The markets are uncertain, and in circumstances like that, investors aren't willing to trust as easily in a company in an unsure developing industry. Deezer, because it's in an unde unsure developing industry, hasn't secured its position yet. And so going public now for Deezer would essentially be laying all its cards on the table before it really even knows what hand it's playing. Yeah, and certainly it's been a catch-22 for a company like Deezer, which has said that it needs to raise more money to compete with its larger uh, music streaming rivals. So Deezer's aspirations regarding the telecom business, that's where it says it's going to be focusing more of its efforts. Is this a smart idea? What is it? It's a smart idea, and it's worked in the past. The question is whether it will continue to work as well in the future. Subscription, subscription streaming services have used these wireless partnerships as a way to nudge consumers to try something that they're unfamiliar with. They would work with a wireless provider in order for their subscription service to be bundled with that customer's online bill. The problem is that that's already been deployed in a lot of developed markets, so it can still work in emerging markets, places in Latin America, places like India, but in places like Europe, where Deezer is based, they're going to have a challenge of competing against other people already going for those same deals. And, and just to dig into that a little bit more, why is the music streaming market in general so challenged right now? Music streaming essentially is asking consumers to completely reinvent how they pay for music and also asking the recording industry to understand a totally new way of being paid for what they create. It's switching from paying outright for a CD or a digital download to either paying for a subscription to access any kind of music or paying indirectly by listening to ads. That means that you're asking consumers to try something entirely new and asking the recording industry to trust that it will eventually be a model that lets them thrive. Those are two big asks. They are certainly two big asks and what we know of speaking to so many recording artists, including ones that have chosen to keep their music off of streaming services, is right. that they're getting paid pennies on the dollar and then on the flip side, consumers don't necessarily want to spend that much more money for the streaming service. So Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, I mean, is there space for all these companies or are we going to start to see some consolidation? We're already starting to see that consolidation. You mentioned Pandora. Pandora recently, last year, bought Ardio, which is a subscription music service that was praised for having a great product, but struggled to really reach the kind of traction that would make it competitive. You're starting to see that there is a narrowing of the number of companies. Because it's an emerging market, those companies that have name recognition, like Apple or Spotify, by being that popular upstart, those are the ones that are going to emerge on top. Deezer faces the difficulty of being in that middle position. They're not quite as small as RDO, but they're not nearly as recognizable as Apple. And so that's where they're going to need to focus with this new funding on these kind of partnerships. Well, it'll certainly be interesting to see how this space shakes out. Joan Salzman, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.